Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to add an absolute position bottom bar to your hero section with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so what we need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Scroll down until you find this area where you can download it. It's absolutely free. So I've already gone ahead and added my email address and now I can download the files here. So when you click on download, the files are going to be downloaded onto your computer. Now I've already gone ahead and uh, done that. And uh, this is the file that you get when you download. Let me just show you. So here it is. So when you download it, you also get a zipped folder. So you need to unzip it. And this is how you end up with this JSON file. All right. So what we're going to do next now is to head over to our website and add this to our library. So I'm going to come over here to Divi, click on Divi library. So now it's time to add our file. So I'm going to click on import and export. Make sure you click on the import tab. And now we need to just drag this over here like that and import DV Builder Layout. So this now is going to be added to our library. So every time we build our website, it's going to be very easy to access. All right. So now it has been added. The next step now is to uh, create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So let's just call this hero. I'm going to use the DV Builder. And for this, I am going to uh, choose pre-made layout. So over here, we have the pre-made layout, saved layouts, and existing pages. So what we need to do is to go to our saved layouts. This is where we can access our layout. So I'm going to click on it, and this is going to install our layout. Excellent. So this is now our layout. So we can add further items here to the bottom of this. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'm just going to click here on publish just to publish this. And then I'm going to come over here to my layers because this makes it easy for me to add more sections. So I'm going to click here on this little icon and now I can add a new section by clicking here on this plus button. So this is going to be a regular section and we're going to add a single column. So in here we can add any information that we want, but you know what? I'm just going to leave this as it is and I am going to close out of here and then I'm going to save and exit the visual builder. So, so far we just wanna see what this looks like right now. So as you can see, this is now my bottom bar and it's positioned at the bottom. So when I scroll, it is staying there on the bottom there. So let's say you wanna change this design and uh, add your own images. Let's go ahead and enable the builder. So now with my layers open, I'm going to uh, click here in my section settings come over here to background and this is where all our design is. So this is where the image is. So I can just click in here and change the image. So I'm just going to scroll down here and choose a totally different image. So uh, I'm going to go with uh, this one right here, add an image. And you can see now that our image here has been updated. And now we have a totally different background for this area here. Next, uh, if you want to change this heading here you can just click on this gear icon and you can now change this heading just over here like that and the same applies over here as well on the description text if you want to change the um the fonts you can just click here on design and this now will take you to your heading one so you can change this from work sans to something else so let's say you want to use poppins you can see there it has been updated and also you can change the colors to whatever color works for you. And then over here, we also have our letter spacing at minus four, but you can um, you know adjust this until you're happy with how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna close out of that. Uh, over here to the right, we have our email opt-in. So you can also go in and make changes to this. So if you find that you can't select it, all you have to do is to go to your layers and uh, let's collapse this and go into our rows. Okay, so this is the bottom row and this is the top row. So on the bottom row here, we're going to target the columns and the column I need to go with is this one right here. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and this now allows us to go in and uh, make changes to the column. So you can see here by changing my colors, I am changing the background of that column. Okay, so let's close out of there 
And if I collapse this, this is now going to take me into my contact form. So in the contact form, it's important that you add your email address by coming over here to email and then adding your email address. All right, so that's my email address. You can also add your redirect. So if you want to add a specific page as the redirect URL, you can just add it here. And we also have our spam protection here. And this is a basic capture. All right, so I'm gonna close out of here. And then finally, if you wanna make changes to what's here on the bottom, we can do that by coming over here to our layers. And again, let's find that row, which is this one here. And in column one, we have this button. So if you wanna make changes to that button, you can just click here on this gear icon and this takes you to your button settings and you can change this text to whatever text you want and uh, make sure you add your link. At the moment, I've just added a blank link, but in your case, you wanna make sure you add a link that goes to that page that you want it to go to. And then over here on the design, if you go to your button, this is where you can customize your button text, your colors and so on. So right now we have Work Sans. You can change your font over here like that. And you can see it has been updated. So that is where you update your buttons. So I'm just gonna save this and exit the Visual Builder. And as you can see, this is our hero area and these are the buttons. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.